What's up guys? All right, another one to try. Here it is, dogfish head, 60 minutes. So, it says the continually hopped Indian Pale Ale. This is 6% alcohol by volume, and this is their 60 minute IPA. They have a 60 minute IPA, a 75 minute IPA, a 90 minute IPA, and a 120 minute IPA. And I really, really, really want a 120 minute IPA, but it's nowhere to be found in my area. So uh, if you happen to have that, maybe you do some kind of a trade or something. But anyway, um, try the 90 minute first, which I probably should have tried this first, but I didn't. And the 75 minute IPA is supposed to be half of this and half of the 90. So anyway, uh, Dogfish Head is a very well-known uh, brewery and company. Um, as far as the artwork, it's very plain. And this is a beer that supposedly speaks for itself. And after trying the other one, I understand it. It's an extremely high quality beer. So they don't need some kind of crazy labeling or any kind of gimmicky stuff. Bottle's very cool. Bottle is embossed with that shark logo. And this one should be pretty straightforward. It is a uh, supposedly a very good IPA. So like I said, I tried the, the 90 minute and I can say, I probably shouldn't in this review because you might think it's biased or something, but uh, favorite, favorite IPA I've had to date. What a wonderful smell. All right, so on the nose, tons and tons of that just standard IPA stuff, which is, if you don't know, grapefruit specifically, but mostly citrus. Tons and tons of like pine, uh, pine sap. I don't get any kind of malt on this one at all. It's like straight up hops. It smells very good though. Very bright, refreshing kind of a smell. So, see the color on this is a very nice light golden yellow. And it looks like tons of head. I don't want that to spill. Nice clear filtered beer. See there. Nice and crisp and clear. Nice, uh, I don't know, two and a half to three finger head on this. Tons of carbonation. <sighs> nice smell on it. Very floral, very bold. I shouldn't say floral because it's not specifically that. The aroma's abundant. Uh, saying floral would, would, would uh, suggest flowery type smells. It's not like that at all. I just meant that it was very pungent. I used the wrong word there. Um, Fantastic smell. Very, very refreshing smelling. Super citrus, pine. Um, just really good. Alright, so bottoms up. I'm going to break through this head and get a little sip. That is really good. You know, it's kind of like I expected. Having tried the 90 minute IPA, I, I mean, my, my expectations really were that this was gonna be a very similar flavored beer, coming from the same company, same manufacturer and everything, just maybe toned down a little bit. And that's basically what this is. The 90 minute IPA was fantastic. It was very pungent. You could taste a little bit of that alcohol in there. Extremely strong. The 60 minute um, is, is all that same great flavor. And it's, it, the profile to me is literally dead on. Exact same, you know, Indian pale ale flavor that Dogfish had put out in the 90 minute. But it's not, I don't taste that alcoholic bite to it. This one's actually even smoother. Even though the 90 minute was really, really smooth. This is extremely drinkable, full of flavor, very, very refreshing. And tasting it, um, the citrus is balanced out too. And believe it or not, this one's actually not that bitter. A lot of the IPAs are just, the hops bitterness is right in your face. And of course you do get a hopsy punch to this one. But it's surprisingly drinkable. Like, I like the 90 minute 
a lot. I really, really like it. And I think that one offers just a little bit more in a flavor profile. But I can only really have maybe one or two of those, whereas this, I can definitely have more. So I would say as far as like a regular drink, uh, I would prefer the 60 over the 90. That makes sense to you? Really, really good though. I want to enjoy this. I'm not going to uh, chug this back because this is a very, very tasty beer. So I will get back with you when I get to the last sip. So cheers. Last sip. All right. Um, I like this one. I like it a lot. It's very drinkable. I, I can only really compare it to the 90 minute because the flavor profile is so similar. As far as the flavors, uh, you know, stereotypical, but different at the same time, if that makes any sense. It's almost like it's a, like a little slightly more sophisticated version of it where like the um, the citrus and grapefruit is very, very well balanced uh, with the pine. They kind of mesh together, whereas some IPAs, it's like you taste grapefruit flavor, you know, and then you're, you know, and then all of a sudden, like, okay, now I taste pine. This is very, very much like melded together. It, it, it's literally, it's in the same, when you're tasting, it's in the same flavor. They're, they're both one. You can pick them apart and, and, and taste the differences. And kind of going into it, you, you have an expectation of what it may taste like because of its profile, because of the style of beer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I like it a lot. Comparing it directly to the 90 minute, you don't get the same alcohol bite. Of course, this is 6% as opposed to the 90 minute, which is a 9% alcohol. So 3% ABV is a big difference. It's a big jump in beer. So it's smoother to drink because of that. It's also lighter overall in the flavor. The 90 minute has the same flavors, but they're stronger. The flavors are stronger. So it's a lighter version of it, of course. Um, it's very, very drinkable. It's a very good regular, you know, uh, IPA that I think a lot of people like. It's very balanced. No malt detection at all for me on this one. No kind of tropical fruit. Some IPAs have a little bit of tropicalness to it, um, which is different and nice. It's very, very well balanced. It's very smooth. It's very easy to drink. And it is light to me. And what I mean by light is that you could consume a lot of this and not feel full, not feel grossed out by it, the flavor. Um, I like a lot of sweet beers. And sometimes some of them are very heavy in that I can only have one or two. And then I'm like, ugh, I'm like full from it, you know? This, not so much. Not at all. Um, you can definitely throw these back. So... Very, very easy to find, and that's a huge bonus because once you get to the 75 minute, the 90 minute, and of course the 120, they, they become harder and harder to find, you know, as you as you kind of you know step up a little bit. So the 60 minute IPA from Dogfish Head is uh, widely available in a lot of different places. Um, highly recommended by myself. A very, very good quality uh, beer. It, it's delicious. It's very, very good. Not my favorite, um, but it has jumped up to number two. So far, Dogfish Head for an IPA, specifically an IPA if I'm looking for one, Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA is my favorite. Absolutely. And this is now my second favorite, followed by Hop Explosion, which is a different IPA experience to me. Very, very pungent. But anyway, those are my top three thus far. Um, everything I really expected. Uh, the only thing that's, uh, that's, that's maybe a little unexpected with this one is that the... Uh, um, the mouthfeel on it is uh, slightly creamy, which is a little bit different because the 90 minute and it, all other IPAs were never really creamy to me. They're all just kind of very dry finish. And this one is a little bit of a wetter finish. And what, what I mean by that is that when, you know, after you swallow and everything, you don't have as much of a dryness from that, that hops, you know, and that bitterness. So anyway, that is it. Highly, highly recommended. Now that I've tried two of their IPAs, I really have no interest in trying the 75 minute IPA. Uh, I can understand what it might be somewhere in the middle between the 60 and 90, because that's literally what it is. I definitely gotta try that 120. I have to try that 120. And I wanna try their other uh, expressions too. There are other styles of beer, so we'll see. But I'm a huge fan of uh, Dogfish Head. They're extremely popular and I can see why. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care.